Hey guys, Justin from Nashville Sampley Co. here. Super excited to show you guys the new Tim Vary Drums Library. Tim is the drummer for Manchester Orchestra and an all-around great drummer. Our library, it features one-shots from Tim, tons of loops, different multiple tempo options, uh, presets for contact, the Logic Sampler, Machine, Trigger 2. Tim also provided tons of synth loop options for people uh, these synth loops are super just creative uh, like writing tools that can you know help augment your tracks and and you know give you ideas that you might not have ever thought of especially great for bridges intros and songs so let's look at some of these loops here um, they're broken into six different tempo options all these loops uh, are extremely flexible with how you can time stretch and uh, time compress them uh, especially with the contact uh, time machine engine it's just ridiculous you can get about 20 beats per minute up or down with any of these tempo options so you can interchange loops and fills very easily on the fly either by dragging and dropping them to your DAW or messing with them on the uh, contact engine or even in the uh, the logic sampler yeah, so let's check out this uh, just little logic sketch I did. It took me about five minutes to throw these loops in with the synth loops and, you know, just get a basic backing track, you know, that I could throw guitars and bass down to later. A big reason that we didn't include just individual microphones on the drum kit this time around was, you know, this is primarily a loop library. So it would have been just an insane amount of data. It would have been nearly 70 gigabytes. It wouldn't have really run in contact very well. Um, so we broke it down into multiple stereo options. One is a very tight drum tone and it's just, uh, it's just, it's not labeled anything. It's just more like the more natural sound. One is more of a big roomy tone, which is sort of the natural mix with a lot of the room sound. And one is a very heavily compressed uh, through an API 2500 room mic sound here. So let's listen to one of these at a time. So here's the more natural one. So it's mainly just overheads and uh, close mics for these. All the drums were recorded through um, Cappy preamps, you know, from up in Nashville. Uh, close mics were run through distressors, uh, the toms and the uh, snare and kick. So now here is the, uh, this is the big sound. It's my personal favorite.
and room. Blends really well with all the other mics. This is three microphones combined. Picking out the room now. And then the last one is a trash mic. It's a trash talk audio phone mic. Let's listen to that. Super great for loops, bridges of songs, intros. Everything lines up and phase together real nice. All right, so let's check out the contact version of this library. So this library is not for contact player. It does require the full version of contact six to run the library. So the way we broke down this library in contact was by providing individual samples here at the bottom of kicks, snares, rim shots, rim clicks, snare rolls, different hi-hats, five different opening layers, uh, toms, flames. Uh, then you have different symbols. This is a left symbol. There's a ride, ride crash, ride bell, another left symbol, and two right symbols. In purple, these are loops. There's so many loops in each one of these tempos that we couldn't fit them on a single keyboard, so we built a key switch down here to let you cycle between multiple loop options. So each one of these looks like it has about 16 different loops inside of it. And then up here in pink are fills. So in the programming, you can literally interchange between the loops and fills and it's extremely easy to work with. So let's, uh, let's check out right here, just a little MIDI program of the kit playing back. So the beginning of this this track here, it's uh, it's cycling between uh, loops and some fills up here. And then you can see we added just a few other individual hits occasionally, some rides. And then over here, you can see this is actually um, programmed out MIDI. So let's listen through. So on page two of this library, we have an EQ, which is based off of Neve 1081. We have a compressor, which is sort of an SSL style. We got a tape machine built in, transient designer, stereo width, panning, and phase inversion. So I'm gonna play around just a little bit with the different tempo options. So you can see how the different individual samples, loops, and fills can be played at the keyboard or at drum pads.
All right, so let's check out some of the 100s. Here we go. Some of the one twenties. Some of the one thirties. some of the 140s. 